Hi guys, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. This is a short video uh, just to show you my 2008 Dodge Charger Pursuit. I had this car brought into the UK in 2018. It came out of service in Alabama, a um, small town called Killen in Alabama, in December 2017. So, six months later, was on my drive. Um, it wasn't in the condition that you see today. And in fact, it was, it was rough around the edges. It's still not A1, it's not mint, but it's a very nice example. Have a look. Here are just a few pictures of the car outside the police station. Uh, you'll notice they've taken off their shield off the doors. They've also removed any wording that suggests that it was from Killen. And these pictures were taken uh, about a day or two before it went to auction. And then finally from auction onto a transporter and sent to the UK. Landed in the UK. Um, in my local garage, he deals in American cars. You can see his Mustang uh, just in front of my car there. And at this point, he's going to convert the lighting and make the car usable for UK roads. And also he's going to add an MOT certificate so the car can be driven legally. Now at this point, the vehicle was driven to my house with an MOT on trade plates and it sits on my driveway all cleaned up but by no means what I would consider to be a roadworthy car. First thing we'll do is we'll remove the stickers and we'll paint up uh, one of the passenger doors that was in a real bad state. I must confess, I'm not a painter. It does look good. It looks 90% there. But, you know, it's, it's an 11-year-old ex-police vehicle. It's never going to look A1. But the door looks, the door looks good. It looks, it looks um, a damn sight better than it did. And there's my friend, Mark. He, um, he does car decals stickers, shop signage, pretty much anything regarding sticky stuff, I suppose. Very, very good at what it does. We took all the original stickers off and replaced them with more up-to-date. Killen Police changed their colour scheme, I believe, um, from a light blue to a dark blue on the later vehicles, and I preferred the dark blue, so that's what I went with. Um, incidentally, the wheel trims on the car, they are wheel trims, not alloys. I repainted those. If you refer back to the earlier pictures, um, it had the wheel trims on. They were painted black for some reason. I repainted them uh, with wheel trim paint and then lacquered them. But I actually prefer the car with its bare naked wheel. A black painted wheel I think the car looks more aggressive, so that's what I've done. I've kept the wheel trims, but they're no longer on the vehicle. Okay, let's have a look round it. Prisoner partition cage and rubber floors. This one comes with cloth rear seats 
I believe that's because it was the chief of police's vehicle. Lots of goodies up front also. I suppose you'd call it a dash cam, Panasonic Arbitrator. These were used to collect evidence. It would go into a central or into a recording unit in the car. And then that data could be transferred over to a central database. We have a radio. These rear strobes, they are actually working and with the naked eye you can see them flash. For some reason, due to the way that this camera is set up on my phone, it's not picking up the flash. Um, that'll be something to do with the shutter speed I guess. So this is the Panasonic Arbitrator, this is the uh, recording device. So effectively what happens is the camera on the dashboard or in the windscreen, that records the traffic up front. Um, this particular car I've now fitted other cameras onto it as well, so there's actually uh, three cameras on the vehicle. But what it does is it um, captures um, the target vehicle or, or whatever it's filming and that information then downloads onto the Panasonic Arbitrator and into an SD card. So let's see the Panasonic Arbitrator in action. Um, please excuse the language, I was a little bit annoyed at this Burke in front of me. Um, if you've got kids, cover their eyes up. And those images are recorded onto this SD card. From that you can upload the information from the SD card onto a laptop and using Panasonic Arbitrator software you can actually view the footage back. As you've just seen with my footage it's all done through Panasonic Arbitrator software which I have a copy of. Okay, so how easy is it to drive a 5.7 litre V8 with 370 horsepower? Um, I'll let my 10 year old boy 
explain that one to you. Thanks for watching, um, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, if not give me a thumbs down, um, leave a comment and I hope you enjoyed, thank you very much.